Okay, this is just a quick video to show you the operation of a cam switch, a rotary cam switch. <clears throat> this is a technically four position because zero is a position, but it's a four position cam switch. I ordered it from Amazon. This is the one that I ordered. Okay, um, and it's made in China. I mean, we just gotta get over that, I guess. Uh, I did not get any instructions, okay? So I got the box, the switch, and the screws, and that's pretty much it. So just a quick run through of how this works. So uh, when it comes originally, or at least this one, you can see down inside of this hole, there's a screw hole, and it's that where that tiny screw goes, that's what holds the switch on. Obviously we're not ready to do that, so we're just gonna slide that off, set it to a side. <clears throat> the next section here is the cover plate, which comes off, and I'm gonna try to show this if I can. Right here, there's a little tab on this side, and there's a little tab on this side that holds this plate down, okay? I've already popped it apart, but essentially this plate just comes off. And it needs to because that's where the four bolt holes are for the other four screws to go in that bolt it together onto this. So real quick, I'll show you my application. It's um, it's actually going to go in a backhoe. It's for the blower motor assembly on that backhoe right there. So essentially, I've just taken a center hole that it's going to fit into and put the four screw holes on it. This is going to mount on the back side of it, so it's going to it's going to stick in here through like this, and then the uh, the four holes uh, are where the <coughs> bolts are going to go through where the bolts are gonna go through that uh, bolt the cover plate to it. And then once that is bolted all together, okay, then you take this and you pop it on and you just push that down, those clips hold it in, pops it in place. And then you take your, your selector knob, you slide that on. Now this is kind of neat the way they did this. You can see that that's a pretty, you know, that's a double square is what it's called. So you can put this on in numerous positions. I mean, it'll rotate um, in, in various positions all the way around. So make sure that when you wire it, it's in the zero position for off. And when you install it, that's the section that goes up or wherever, however it is you're going to view it. And then when you put your selector knob on, it's pointed in. And you can either have, you know, this be zero or this be zero, whatever it is you want. I mean, it's got a notch there for, for what it is. But anyway, that's how it goes. So bypassing all of that, how do you wire this? So I'm going to spin this around now. So position zero is nothing. It's a completely neutral position. There's no pass through of voltage anywhere. <clears throat> position one, let me flip this over. Position one covers... If you look closely at this, you can see one has an open side on the box going this way. Three has an open side on the box going that way. And the same thing with five and seven, nine and 11. So essentially one goes this way. And when you uh, turn it to the first position, so you have to think about selector switches. So zero is nothing. This is selection one, selection two, selection three. So you're, when you're in selection one, <clears throat> it connects this side to this side and this side to this side. So two functions uh, per switch, okay? You don't have to use both. I'm only using it for a, high, or a low, medium, and a high for a blower motor. So I'm only going to use um, half of what this will do. So when I turn it to one, it'll be low. When I turn it to two, it'll be medium. When I turn it to three, it'll be high. And if you're confused about how that works, you can take a multimeter. You can set it on continuity, which is uh, that selector right there. I can get my, it's that selector right there. And when you, and if you want to test continuity, you can put your, t your, your two connectors together and listen for the tone. You can hear that. So when you go to test your selector, we're gonna take and just move this to the first one. Well, we'll do it here in a second, I'll show you. 
So right now, there is, let me get this set where I want it. There's no continuity between the first two tabs. I'm gonna set the phone down. Well, here, I'll try to hold it with my hand, okay? There's no continuity. And as soon as I go to the first switch, you can hear that from my multimeter. I'll bring that closer. First switch, you can hear a tone. Back to off. Tone, back to off. The same thing happens if I switch it around and I go to the next two. Okay, go to the first. Sorry, my finger's in the way. So now I'm on the next two there. Oh, this is the same number one position, but now I'm on the second set. And if, as soon as I go to the first one, I hear tone. Okay, so now, and then you just kind of go down the line. You go to the second set, which is this group here. Okay, let's see if I can move this forward a little bit so we can see better. Okay, so now we're on the second set. And now we're going to go, it's in zero, so we're going to go to one. Okay, no tone because we're not on the one, uh, the first one yet. Now we're going to go to two. And get my connection there. So there's two. Okay, if I switch this over, I just rotate it completely around. I tech this one. Same thing, I have tone. Now I'm just going to switch it to three. Okay, now we're on position three. So let's just go through them. Here's number one, nothing. Here's number two, nothing. And here's number three. And we have tone. Same thing, switch it over to the other side. Nothing on number one. Oop, let me get it on there. There we go. Nothing on number one. Nothing on number two. Tone on number three. So that's essentially how a rotary switch works. So it's going to just pass through power. So you're going to put power on one side in, and you're, it's going to be power out on the other side when you get to that when you get to the selection that you want. For me, it's low, medium, and high for my uh, blower motor. Now, there's a couple of ways you could wire this, okay? Um, you could wire this, so there's power going to each one of these, and you could fuse them, okay? I'm not gonna jump up in the backhoe and show you what I put in, but I put like a 12 panel little fuse box in, and those are each fused individually. So I could run power to each one of these individually. And as I switch, it'll just send power to low, medium, and high based off of three different powers. I could also put power to the first one and jump the other two, and they would all be powered at, multi, at the same time and then the only time it would pass power through is if I was on position one, two, or three. So you can wire it either way you want. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna wire them individually just because I like f things that are fused. So if for some reason the motor shorted on one of those levels, um, it's not gonna take anything else out. It'll just pop the fuse and I'll be done. That's me. But that's how a four position or three or two or any kind of a rotary cam switch works. Thanks for watching.